You may know me as the extremely English commentator, but I'm actually Australian, born right here in Melbourne. If you want to know more, follow me. This is actually the first house I ever lived in, built in 1994, the year I was born. So let's see if anyone's around. Hello. Little Lana, my niece, and Charlie, you've already met my nephew. You may hear that my sister sounds a little different to me. Let's explain why. For the first 18 months of my life, I lived right here in this house in Melbourne before my dad's job took him overseas. That's me right there, the little round one. We ended up in London where I fell in love with a game of tennis and picked up my accent. Emily is our, um, the older sister is the only Australian family, a pure, pure breed Australian. <laughs> and she came back at 18 to go to university, so she's kept her... She's been here 20 years. Yeah, yeah, her real Australian accent, and you didn't. All throughout my career, I've played for Great Britain. The funniest thing was going when you were playing the Olympic Games, and uh, I had to wear a British shirt, and I was putting it on, and I was thinking, oh my God, you know, all the years of uh, cheering on Australia, and here I was with my British flag and my British shirt and... Uh, singing the national anthem. Singing the national anthem, which I, I liked. But now that most of my family's back in Melbourne, now is the perfect time to do some exploring and visit some of the people and places that make this city so special. I think there's there's so much to explore in Melbourne. Um, where do you start? Just just get out there, uh, go, go and visit all, all the places. Go and have fun. Join me over the next couple of weeks as I get out and explore the best that Melbourne has to offer during the Aussie Open. Thank you, Mum. Emily, just get him out for one more minute. Mommy, can you <laughs> Please tell me. Ah,